Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 109 of Kenshi. So, let's get going. We left off in the Ashland Domes, and we only have one dome left to go. I'm going to leave the ominous place for probably the last thing I do in this series. Um, so before I do the ominous place, I will go ahead and get some of the megafauna checked off my list and anything else that you think I've missed. Um, I did try to go to the Mega Raptors a few episodes back, quite a few episodes back, and they hadn't spawned, or rather maybe spawned under the world. But there is still some other megafauna for me to do. I don't want to spoil it if you don't know what it is, but uh, I'll be doing that up and coming uh, after I finish some Ashland Domes. So there's also two dome ruins that I could hit up before leaving the Ashlands. And then on top of the, the two additional dome ruins, there's um, some skin houses that I could wing whiz by as well. So you all are probably quite familiar with my attack approach at this point. Uh, let's do a quick ammo. Oh, ammo check seems to be actually fine. We haven't been burning through our ammo. So the last place is police captains. As you can see, they're... Actually, you know what? Their attack is not that much higher than some of the past enemies that we fought. And in concern for the health and welfare of our... Organics, I've been having the robots uh, take the brunt. They don't mind as long as I repair them afterwards. But I'll have Radamont come out here too. Uh, some are breaking the lines. That's just not acceptable. And that is when everyone else gets involved. My crossbowmen are not valid targets. Look at those numbers, jeez. And then of course these robots, oh look, we can un-CPU them. So they have some armored rags and jetes. Unfortunately for them, I have really, really high blunt defense. So jetes are not that great of a weapon to fight me with. Although I gotta say Agnew is kind of wounded, but part of that is because she is using a weapon that is honestly far too heavy for her. Um, which is why she swings so darn slow. But when it connects, boy, is that a lot of damage. I don't need to worry too much about the damage I incur because this is the last dome, I think, that I'll be hitting up before leaving. I will check out the ruins. I'm not exactly sure what to expect in there, to be honest. Ooh. And here is General Hat, uh, who is the the boss of the area. Um, right there. And I need to be able to store his weapon. His heavy jete. And then, of course, his core that is worth a lot. Luke O'Keefe asked me not to sell the cores because they have some value outside of the fact that they're worth a lot of money. Uh, and I agree with that sentiment. So I won't be selling them. Okay, everyone should be all patched up. You know what disappoints me though is I have not yet been hit with a uh, gas ash cloud. Uh, I haven't needed the masks that I so diligently crafted up in case of emergency which bothers me a little bit because it took a lot of effort to craft those babies up and to make sure they were all masterwork and all that and now I don't need them ooh wow what a nice swing that guy oof and again I'm definitely disassembling you buddy I mean props you did a lot of damage but that will not be allowed to continue. So we're here just to look for the last few AI cores. Um, at this point, I probably have enough AI cores for everything left in the game. So it's not of great concern that I 
you know, if I skip one or miss one, it's not that big of a deal is what I'm trying to say. And we're getting the patch up. And what I ought to do is to make sure that everyone... Let's put everyone on hold. Just so I can sort of keep tabs on who we've got and where they are. I know that there's a fight going on over there. Is this a box? No, it's just a bench. They won, no surprise. With their big combat cleavers. I do have some fairly injured people at this point. So I need to be careful that I don't... Um, don't overwork these guys. Give them a little bit of rest. R&R. &R, healing time. Come on. 55%. Four losses in a row, four fails in a row. Oh, look. Someone that probably survived from the outside. No core for you. Um, books and robotic components. Let's see. Who do I have to, sh to shoulder this weight? Seto, you are just about encumbered. Jane's, you're next. I probably don't need this stuff, truth be told, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Just feels so wasteful leaving it behind, you know? The sort of efficient completionist in me. Oh, wow. Okay. I did not expect... So many AI, core, AI cores, even on the first floor. All right, second floor. Uh, second floor should be pretty empty because people have been spilling down to attack us. Now, outside of some cleanser bots, these are the last cores that are lootable, uh, that, are, uh, that, that have a hard, as far as I know, I might be wrong. But I don't think that there's any more guaranteed cores unless you kill a cleanser bot. Uh, and the cleanser bot I killed wasn't all that tough, mostly because I just ranged it down. But um, that's good information to have. That if I end up somehow losing these cores or whatever, uh, there are no more. There's a finite amount in the world. And you are not guaranteed to necessarily... I mean, I think there's probably enough that you... Oh, hello. Uh, there's probably enough that you will not... Um, that you'll be able to unlock everything. But if for some reason it gets stolen off of you or whatever, you know, something terrible befalls you, yeah, it's entirely possible not to have enough cores, uh, which would be tragic, I guess. But I have so many cores, this is ridiculous. Did I check this already? No, I did not. All right. Last dome is cleared. We can head to the ruins, see what they're all about. Hey, Hamet. Earth the Hamet. Oh, look, there's a little bit of a skeleton legion patrol going on. If I wanted to mess with the Legionnaires. Alright, so I would say pretty definitively the Ruined Domes ain't got nothing. I mean, look at that thing. Very cool architecture, though. Like, very beehive. And there's another dome. Um, a dome ruin this way. That is off-map. 
that Seto is oh, Elite Hunter Assault. All right, could we start walking? Uh, we're kind of going the wrong way. Rain is rather encumbered. These Chate is wearing it down a lot. Um, let's go ahead and have her traded to Wing Wing. And then what I'll do is I'll, um, all right, how encumbered is she now? Oh, still, still somewhat encumbered. Yeah, it's this new weapon. Um, all right, well, I will try to get less weight on her, but I need to find, okay, perfect, Ron has plenty of room. Okay, she's no longer encumbered, so she can keep up with Seto. Uh, these elite hunters are leaving from Trader's Edge, okay. I could probably beat them home. So that will be my plan. It's crazy to think that, I mean, I don't know the lore perfectly, but these guys potentially have been marching around like this for hundreds, if not a thousands of years. Wow, look at them. They're not even, okay, here we go. I blew past them so quick, they weren't even aware that I was around. Well, uh, outside of one Mato that I'm missing, um, which I skipped over consciously, I think I have at this point every Mato weapon in the game, minus the one, of course. Uh, this is a skin house. I don't know if it's still a skin house, though. I might have fell to ruins because I did take uh, Savant out of the HQ. I'm not sure what happens to their skin houses when they uh, overturn. Uh, they look like ruins now, so that answers that question. The skin bandits. All right, I need to figure out where they, where this raid is. In the worst case scenario, I unleash the broken ones. Okay, they are northeast of Ocran Shield. At least that gives me some sort of. Um... Oop, that was Jane's. So I have a lot of stuff to put away. Let's do a quick check on Wike. Oh, you are working. Making robotic components, I hope. Nope, almost though. Our prisoners look hungry. Why are you so hungry? I was pretty sure, uh, maybe in the new ones I didn't load up full of food. That's a possibility. I do find it particularly funny that Chung has dressed himself as a royal after I defeated all these royals. Oh, Ren might be in a hunger strike. All right. Uh, let's see what they want to say. They're, you'll regret this. Yeah, I've heard that before. If you want to keep your arms and legs, you might want to keep your words to yourself. Or at least keep your words friendly. Because I have been known to dismember my uh, opponents. Is 
Is it something nice that I should do? Oh, heavens no. But do I do it anyway? Yes, absolutely. Oh, actually, Chung is getting the his butt kicked. Who is this? Just a bunch of caravan guards? Uh, Plan and Pingu. What are you up to? There you go. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is close everything to public, because honestly, uh, the only caravan guards that have shown up have attacked me, and I'm not all that interested in continually being assaulted by the caravan guard, so... Although there's a little bit of profit in it, given that um, I can loot bulls from time to time, it's just not worth the hassle. Jane's, you've fallen behind now. Oh, but you're speedy enough. Yeah, see? Oh, Wike. Very sweet of you. As you can see, they're bringing in um, they're bringing in food for me. I'm not going to complain about that bit, but my homesteaders aren't exactly the toughest bunch, so I got to be careful about how much or how often these uh, raiders, these enemies, come in. I'm just temporarily forcing everyone to take a nice little restful nap. Oh, someone's attacking Beep. A gorilla. He must have fallen behind. Yeah, I would say pretty definitively he fell behind because he's in a... Oh, there's a few that fell behind. Who's with Beep over here? Someone else fell behind with Beep. Agnew. Oh, they had their conversation again. Darn it. It's really annoying when... I might disable Let's Talk as a result. Ah, I'm so close to, you know, being quote-unquote done with this game that I'm not going to worry about it. But in the future, that one voice line that they have where they go off together and whatever. It's kind of annoying. Alright, Wike, why aren't you working? I want that scout leg. I want the robotic components. Um, forget that motor then. Plan and Chung still gate guarding. They're basically corpse camping at this point. Oh, man, these guys, not only did they, oh, come on, Beep, come on, Agnew. Not only did they fall behind, but they decided that swimming the lagoon would be a swell idea. Which is, you know, incorrect. Beep's actually remarkably fast swimming, given that he's got, uh, does not have the limbs for it. So I think a little bit of manual control is in order. Yep. Oops. Especially if I want to get home in time for the... They call themselves elite, but I don't know. For the raid. I'm having my main crew double back a little bit, rather than standing in the laser biome. Oh, 
And let's check on their raid. So last they were near the shield, and they're at shield now. They might beat me only because these two decided to have a stupid conversation, which kind of makes me mad. This is not exactly like uh, my homesteaders are tough veterans. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I if I control these guys. Maybe, perhaps they catch up. If I'm careful. Yeah, there's a lot of catch up to do. Don't get lasered either. So you probably move at almost four times the speed that they do, but they're pretty close. No, 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 no. Don't run off. Just keep moving. Agnew. Agnew just keeps getting lasered. You know what? It didn't even hurt you, man. You're fine. All right, everyone follow Seto. Seto, keep moving. This isn't moving, Seto. This is standing. I'm going to have to go around. There's some sort of rock in the impasse. Off we go. Oh, they're taking the long way. That actually make... That might allow me to catch up and also maybe cut them off. That'd be really funny. I probably want them to come all the way to my base, though. Just to make sure that the raid isn't bugged. Alright. Week A. You, what if we did the limb bench first? Everyone that's been sleeping. Nope, Gecko. Some people just never got patched up. Even though Chung's top priority is to patch them, he kind of just didn't. But it should be a lot easier now that I don't constantly have a, a swarm of gate guards that are um, trying to murder me. Because that has been my biggest pain point, the biggest annoyance. Check back on Seto and the crew, making sure they don't get stopped. Yeah, we're going to be getting home just around the same time as this raid. But this raid only has one dot, which means there's not a lot of raiders. So maybe I'll stop them on the road. I'm kind of curious. I will take the... Woo, big dust storm. I will take the risk of... Um, of bugging out the raid by ganking them on the road. <laughs> I can't believe we caught up. Ah, there's only five of them. Or four, something like that. Oh, they don't even want to, uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, war leader. Oh, they have a molly too, huh? Yeah, they're kind of bugged. They don't even know to fight me. I mean, they have high stats, there's just not enough of them. It would have been really annoying for the home crew to have dealt with, granted. Um, but if I manned the harpoons, it would have been a kind of a, a quick fight. 
Yeah, they have they had high stats and pretty good armor. I guess. Yeah, this guy had kind of fine armor. Okay, well, good raid. I'll be leaving now. So we have a lot of research to do. And then we have some of the few adventures left that I know about. Uh, so I know I keep saying this, but if you have any ideas of things to do, uh, hit me up, drop me a line, and I can go adventuring. So there's Catlon that is left, and then uh, some of the megafauna. That is what I know about. So the first things first, let's put this research away. We have a ton of it. No, stop. Everyone on hold. Okay, hold doesn't mean hold to everyone, does it? And this will certainly allow us to finish off uh, anything... Any out... out uh, research that we have yet to uh, complete. In fact, I might have so many AI cores, I'm not going to have room for them all. We'll see. That'd be a funny problem to have. And then, of course, I brought home a lot of robotics. Uh, not that we needed too many, because we were manufacturing them. Oh man, I'm running out of room. Yes. Okay, I am indeed out of room. Uh, tech. Let's go first with the defense, revolving harpoons. And then... We don't have enough books for the last battery tech. But we did just free up a lot of core space. So this is... All these cores are cores I don't need but have at this point. I don't think I gave any to my crossbowmen. All right, so we have way more cores to unlock all the lost technology beyond what we even need. Not a complaint. Getting well rested. And then I'll have to go drop off a lot of stuff and resupply. Uh, King, Jans. Okay, so who's up? Hamet. Green's fine, silver's fine. All my crossbowmen are fine. Okay, so if I'm reading this correctly, no one else needs repairs, and that seems to be true. Cool, so all these people will start to put stuff away. Oh my goodness, so many repair kits. Uh, Week A finished, and it is masterwork. Thank you, Week A, for not disappointing me for another time. And that means Griffin is able to get the leg that he wants. Um, all right, let's go through these guys. All of the crossbowmen need to get re-upped on bolts. That was Crumble. I'll have them carry around the masks. I'm going to be doing some non-Ashland stuff for a bit. But it doesn't hurt to hold on to the masks. Okay. So all my crossbowmen are all set. 
We'll have them stand by, stand outside the gate when they're done. Uh, Chung, you really should be researching. I have a lot of research queued up. Actually, just make that your top priority. So the harpoon turret will be pretty good if I ever get attacked and I'm not home. All right, Janes, let's have you ditch robotics. Then, of course, we have some weapons. So the Mato blade, the guardless, can go to stubs. Uh, although it's not much of a trophy room, we are putting our trophies in here. So the old Wakasashi can go in here. And the CPU. And we'll put in the Ancient Samurai Armor. That's kind of a trophy. Alright, so he's all squared away. Sad Neil is all squared away. Burn and Agnew. They have some food on them. Uh, I don't mind the robots being the food carriers. They'll share, they won't eat. And this way we can not starve on another adventure. Oh my god, I have so much food. So all the robots are all set. And they're getting attacked. Someone is foolish enough to attack them. Uh, so this is a thief right arm. It goes there. Who would do that? Caravan? Moron? No, straight paladin. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Alright, I think... Probably everyone else is all set. I just need to have them dump off their robotics or whatever they have on them that they don't need. I should check to see if any of my black and chainmail is masterwork quality because I was and have been making that for a long time now. Specialist, specialist, okay. Well, guess I'm glad I wasn't holding my breath. Okay, Ron's got food, that's fine. Jane's, you're fine. Seto, you've got a bunch of blades that you don't need and robotic components. If I ever, ever need money, I do have all these massively nice blades, but I can just hold on to them. There's no need to, to sell them at this point. Rain, Hamet. Hamid's got a uh, another Mato weapon, the, the topper. Honestly, I should probably use the topper, but at this point, um, having someone—I guess it's a katana-type weapon, so whoever uses uses it would not need a lot of training. Griffin, you've got some trophies. You also need a new leg. Man, I have a lot of food on me. All right, let's go get that new leg. It was a scout. There you go. Wing wang and beep. Oh, we're almost set. Now, I know I have a lot of Mato weapons that I just am not using. Um, there's another. And I could put them on my homesteaders, but my homesteaders aren't really trained on them, so it wouldn't really benefit me all that much to just have a bunch of homesteaders that have uh, weapons that they don't know really how to use. And then beep. And beeps 
good to go. All right. I might have some nicks and scratches from the last little strayed Peldon thing, but uh, for the most part, we're all set. Where to go is the bigger question. Um, so there are some megafauna uh, for me to fight. So there is the great white gorilla that I never uh, took on. I can head to that first, I suppose. I don't know if it's closest, though. But, but uh, yeah. That's the one where at least I've been there and I, I never ended up doing. So we would have to go to the bone fields to mourn to mess with the great white. Just down here. We passed it on our way back. Did just get the uh The Revolving Harpoon Blueprints, which can't be upgraded from these. That's too bad. I might not actually employ them. Mostly because I'm not all that concerned that anyone's going to raid me. This is what happens to the raiders that raid me. Well, that's pretty... Uh, let's not stare at that. Um, yeah, I forgot they were in there. Just a little bit. You know what I could do with Wike? Is have... You don't eat food. I'll just have you man turret. You know what I could do? I'll do... Well, I'll do one better. I will... Um, this turret here. Why this turret? I don't know. I'm going to pick it at random. Gets destroyed, and then defense, multi-barrel harpoon turret. Put it on back. And he can just man it permanently. There's no reason not to. He is not like he needs food. Okay, whip him by the holy mines. We'll get to morn in no time. I think what I'll do is have him pick up uh, all of these materials. Go. So most of them are required for uh, this turret construction. I guess I have enough plates though. Whoa, you have a lot of chain mail. So we're going to need two steel bars and three electrical components. I can just pick that up manually. So here's one of the steel bars. Maybe I can steal one. Nope. What about barred? Nope. I could stand around like a fool and wait for the electrical uh, steel bars. 
But what I can also do is put the alloy plate away and just grab the next steel bar that pops off. Oh, there it is. Get it quick before Gecko does. Huzzah. All right, and this is all the remaining ingredients needed for this turret. So for Molly just added something. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh well, whatever. This will get done. And now any of the river raptors or strayed paladins or anything will get absolutely melt shredded by Wike. And I'm gonna make him man turret as a top priority. But this turret, man. All right, good luck, people. Coming into my base, messing with my homesteaders. It's not gonna end well for you. So here we are in Morn. Good timing, I've probably been standing there a while, but let's pretend it's good timing. And the great white gorilla is in here. Um, oh, homesteader, perfect. Uh, before we fight the great white, I just wanna see this harpoon in, oh, uh, in action. Was that it? Did I miss it? I think he just shot the stomach out of that dude. Probably both of them, to be honest. Okay. Let's do the gorilla. What I will do is line up my shooters. I'll have my skeletons out front. Go make him a little mad. He's, what, upstairs? Oh, okay. Uh, let's stage downstairs then. Yeah, right, let's go poke fun at the dude. And here he is, an elder great white gorilla. And he has no interest in Agnew. There we go. Hits pretty hard, but honestly, between the Eagle Crosses and all my people, I'm not all that worried. Just some, I would call them flesh wounds, but I don't know if flesh wounds are applicable. Let's just unhold everyone. Get in on it. So really the danger here is the wide swipes um, and the constant pounding, but... Uh, yeah, this, this, this boy is dead already. Would be very tough to do one-on-one, -on -one, though. Especially given that I don't have any um, standouts. Like, I don't have any any character uh, that is, I don't know, like, the best melee. It's not something I did this run. Uh, maybe I do in a future Kenshi play, but... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have like a god tier melee or It's just everyone kind of works well together. So there's the Great White Gorilla. Um, dead. I did want to see this harpoon in action. Wike keeps uh, saying that he's targeting people, but he's not actually targeting anyone. I don't think anyone suffered all that much damage from this. Uh, so let's see. There is uh, the King Gorilla in Stobie's Gamble, or the Mega Crab in the Howler Maze. Those are the remaining um, the remaining Mega Fauna, and I'm not actually all that far from Stobie's Gamble, so we can head on over that way. I guess.
Get your speed time up a little bit. Um, okay, I want you guys to head east. No swimming. I keep missing the action. There is durable arms. Not that I'm ever going to use it, but I had the AI cores for it, so might as well. Yeah, well, I'm just assuming he's keeping the base pretty safe because Pengu and Plan have not been hurt. Let's do a quick um, health check. So Agnew and Sadneel took the brunt of it, but they're currently repairing. Pretty much no one else got all that hurt. Uh, then stat check. So uh, for stats, I'll slow it down a little bit. So Radamont still upper 50, mid 60s. And Katanas are a bit higher. Sad Neil's Katana's same deal. Burn, you have a Saber class weapon, 53. Agnew, 54 heavy weapons. Yeah, we're kind of um, stagnated. Everyone's stats really haven't changed all that much, mostly because I have been reliant um, somewhat heavily on uh, Eagle Crosses. So a lot of the fights that normally you would have to duke out a bit, uh, I do a lot of shooting, and that's because this is, in fact, an Iron Man playthrough, and having someone die, they would be dead forever. You know, there's, I'm not going to load or save. Uh, so here we are in Gamble, and I'm looking for a crumbling lab. Uh, which one is it? I don't think it's these. I don't, because that's not, is this in Gamble? Well, let's check out these labs, just in case. Oh, we have a whole bunch of land bats that want to fight us. That's fine. I'm going to pick a skeleton to go check the labs. Because skeletons... Are you going to... Yeah, they're going to fight me. Skeletons can walk underwater. And they're a little faster. Alright, land bats. You want to fight? You get to fight. I don't think it's this lab. I just don't know which lab it is off the top of my head. All right, if it burns all over, get out of the water. That's why I sent a skeleton. Silly. And lamb bats have a little bit of meat, but we are super full of food. All right, this lab does not have a grillo. This has a bunch of spiders. Time to leave. Oh no, it does. That's King Gorilla right there. I stand corrected, I'm glad I found him. Okay, uh, King Gorilla, would you be so kind as to come to the shore? Nope. What is he doing? He is stomping out some security spiders. All right, let's see if I can't encourage him to make landfall. This is a little weird. Is there no way? There is a way up there, green. Come on. Uh, let me try to... Oh, that's not working. This is actually why the Mega Raptor didn't exist. Um... Because of the weird clipping with water. Alright, so my skeletons couldn't lure him out. But green should be able to shoot at him. Maybe? What if I stand here? There is, of course, a bunch of security... Okay, I'm going to have to set all you guys to hold because you're driving me nuts. Uh, there's a bunch of security spiders potentially in this facility that I don't want to attack me. Oh, Crumble just got crumbled by one. Alright, 
everyone else put on hold and set to leave. Okay, spider's down. I'm making sure it's dead. I will patch crumble up. Now, can these guys reach? Yeah, alright, we're shooting the... It's, it's not going to be that eventful of a fight, considering he bugged out and went into the water. But at the very least, we get to kill him. Sorry, King Gorillo. This is probably not how you wanted to die. And I'm going to need... Um... <laughs> I could kidnap him. Yoink! <laughs> oh, that's weird. Alright, Crumble definitely needs to get out of the acid bath. That's not gonna... Not gonna help his chest. I'm gonna have a... No, no, not all of you. Have him camp bed real quick. Oh, he doesn't even have a bed. That is a major oversight. Alright. So, we have the King Gorilla here. Um, Agnew. Put King Gorilla down. Only animal skin. What if we first aided you? Patched you back up. I feel like it's trying to say diplomatic status or something there, but it obviously it doesn't. No, still blood loss KO. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm going to kill you. Sorry, King Gorillo. I can't say that the fight was fair. It wasn't. Crumble, you should have always had your own bed. All the other crossbowmen do. So now green doesn't have one. I must have just dropped one somewhere. But uh, that's all the time I have. So there is one more uh, megafauna that I have not yet faced in the Howler Maze. And I'll have to do that for next episode. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. If you have any feedback for me, like if you know of any other adventures that you think I should depart on... Drop me a line, let me know. I'm happy to do it, and I'll catch you all next time. So uh, thank you all for your feedback. Adios.